Happy Friday and welcome to this week's episode of the Friday Tech Roundup. My name's Ellie and today I'll be delivering five big pieces of news from the world of tech. I know you guys are all probably really excited to get on with your long weekend. So without further ado, let's crack on with the first piece. Number one, so the first piece of news coming at you today is from the Harvard Business Review and provides suggestions about how businesses can ready themselves for an ever more digital future. Contrary to popular belief, a digital transformation is actually less about technology and much more about people. You can pretty much buy any technology, but your ability to adapt to an ever more digital future depends on developing the next generation of skills, closing the gap between talent supply and demand and future-proofing your own and others' potential. Leveraging the words of Winston Churchill, we should never waste a good crisis. And the article goes on to argue that perhaps the biggest gift from this current pandemic is that it provides us with the opportunity to rethink our potential and ensure that we are positioning ourselves towards the future. I found it a really great piece, so I've dropped a link below if you guys are also interested in learning a bit more. Number two, after a year and a half after being acquired by Microsoft, GitHub has announced the integration of the company's popular source code editor, Visual Studio Code, always known as VSC, and plans to make it available to all users through a hosted service called Code Spaces. Now, CodeSpaces is said to provide GitHub developers with a way to edit their code repositories in GitHub-hosted virtual containers, with the hope that it makes it easier for people to contribute to projects. For those interested in discovering the full potential of CodeSpaces before everyone else, GitHub are now taking waitlist signups for a limited public beta test. You can find out more using the link below. Number three, earlier this week, IBM offered us a sneak peek at its cloud satellite service, which will allow users to run their IBM cloud service on-prem or in edge locations managed for a single pane of glass in the public cloud. Now this move takes IBM a little bit closer to similar public cloud extensions announced by rivals Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. Now Hilary Hunter, IBM's cloud CTO, explained that the platform is all about business agility. It's about automating the deployment and management of cloud native services across all our clients' computing environments, which sounds ideal in the current climate. Let's hope it offers what they promise. You can find out more using the link below. Number four, an oldie but a goodie. This next news piece was recirculated on my social channels this week, so I thought I would take the opportunity to reshare. Now, Amal Clooney has released an app that hopes to fight back against unfair trials. Trial Watch aims to train as many trial monitors as it can and hold rogue governments to account by keeping a close eye on trials in countries with dodgy human rights records. Now, at present, no system exists to monitor the fairness of trials around the world. And whilst public trials do bring some injustice into the public eye, much is swept under the rug. And it is this that Trial Watch aims to try and address. Now, described as an international monitoring program, Trial Watch trains individuals in the basics of trial monitoring and equips them with the app developed with Microsoft to help them collect information about trials of interest in their area. Now, that information is then passed on to legal experts, such as international human rights lawyers who assess it and write fairness reports. This will contribute to a global justice index, ranking countries by the fairness of their legal systems, all thanks to technology. We've dropped a link below, so if you're interested in finding out more, check that out there. Number five, last but not least, HashiCorp are hosting their first cloud operating model virtual day in partnership with AWS, Azure, and GitHub. Taking place on May 20th, this event will look at the implications of the cloud operating model across the core layers of infrastructure, including provisioning, security, networking, and runtime. By the looks of things, there are seven talks you can choose from and join at various points of the day. All you need to do is hop over to the link that we provided below and register for the webinar that takes your fancy. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of the Friday Tech Roundup. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and the weather stays as glorious as it does for you as it is currently in my garden over in Surrey. Other than that, all links that have been dropped below and if you have any comments, we always welcome them. So please reach out to us on any of our social channels. It's just ECS across the board. Other than that, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I look forward to catching up with you next week. Take care.